Do you believe that we send all of our water to California or that resorts, golf courses, and new construction use an oversized portion of our water resources? Well, there's several myths about water use in Southern Nevada that are out there, especially on social media. We're here to set the record straight and to give you the facts. It's time to tap the truth. Hi, I'm Colby Pellegrino, Deputy General Manager of Resources for the Southern Nevada Water Authority. And our topic for this edition of Tap the Truth is, why is more water going to Lake Powell and not Lake Mead? So there's a complicated series of agreements that governs how water moves downstream in the Colorado River. And Lake Powell is immediately upstream of Lake Mead. About 90% of the runoff into the basin comes above Lake Powell. So that means Lake Powell's elevation moves up and down much more rapidly and regularly than Lake Meads does. And for the most part, Lake Meads release, and the water that it takes in from Lake Powell remains fixed. There is modifications where it does go up and down. And we've seen some of those modifications like in 2022, because Lake Powell was at risk of losing the ability to generate power and that ability to generate power and the way water would have to be delivered absent water going through the power plant is less reliable, the seven basin states came together and said, we should be keeping that water in Lake Powell because it provides us a little bit more operational certainty. Eventually, everything that's in Lake Powell does come down to Lake Mead and there's less evaporation in Lake Powell. So it's okay that more water stays in Lake Powell, but generally speaking, the reservoirs do rise and fall together, um, especially when you look at their long-term history. And that's how we tap the truth. For more information about the most popular water myths in the valley and the real truth about them, find us on YouTube by searching SNWA video.